Okay. Is that better? <laughs> Here. Do do do. Let me just. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? <laughs> yes, all my filters are still on here. Well done, soldier. Well, as I was saying, Aunt Haley, I'm glad you decided to make it tonight. Uh, hope you had a nice day. But I also hope that you brought a nose hose plug with you because, unfortunately, we're starting with a sewer level. Yeah. And I just realized I may have uh, fucked up last time because, well, I don't have any ammo in this submachine gun, and I only have a few rounds of this uh, rocket, so, yay. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see ha what happens. But first things first, let's do some demolition here. Indeed it is. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, the joys of moving. Uh, yep, it can be such fun at times. Uh, I don't know if you saw it the other day, but I myself was helping my sister move uh, on Friday. Um, which, it was a move that was very well, well needed. Um, she was living in a place that I was never very comfortable live with her living there. And she's all moved into her new place now, and I'm very happy about that. But... Yeah. But, but I hope, hope that while it was a little, little active for you in terms of the packing and all that, that things at least went smoothly. Because a smooth move is always a good move. <laughs> but as for today, well, I, this was one of my work days, and, well, it was fine. I mean, it's very rare that I have a, quote, good day at the job I have right now. Yeah, I'm glad about that, too. Uh, even if I almost broke this doing it. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, I did unfortunately sprain this pretty bad while I was helping her, but it's feeling a lot better now. And, well, and hey, I did get a nice consolation prize out of it. Uh, turns out my nephew's PS4 was being very underutilized. He apparently had very little interest in playing it anymore largely because he got himself an xbox for christmas because a lot of his friends happen to have xboxes and not playstations <laughs> uh, oh yes oh yes working weekends in customer service oriented jobs yay <laughs> okay, now don't be nervous he here, Haley. We seem to have some lurkers about. <laughs> but hey, the more the merrier, I say. <laughs> but yeah, um... So, uh, I don't know if you happen to see yet uh, my previous stream, aim and if, aim because I guess what I'm trying to say is, um, I don't know if you need some 
brief little explanation for what we're doing here, or if you saw... <laughs> uh, see, I'm fine with lurkers, because it still counts as views. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know if you need me to do a little summation of what happened last stream anymore if you're fine just going in cold here because I'm not sure or if you've seen the st previous stream I did yet uh, more or less, more or less uh, we finished the Stalingrad campaign and during the first stream I had of this game and last stream we breezed through the north african campaign which actually is a rather short campaign in this game it's only a few missions and then we started the american campaign in western europe which is basically the last part of the game and we're trying to finish up the first part of that right now where the American 1st Infantry Division is trying to capture Aachen, which... Fun... <laughs> oh, all in good time, Haley, all in good time. Besides, I know it's a commitment. I realize how long some of my streams have been. Hello, one pro. <laughs> Making quite the entrance, are you? <laughs> or is that your way of doing a Monty Python and telling me to get on with it? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll do some progress here. <laughs> Well, it's definitely smellier, Church. Hmm. <laughs> well, one pro, unfortunately, I'm not in the position to where I could afford where I can literally afford to stream that many hours at a time. Although, honestly, if I could, I probably would. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I do like to shoot the shit. At least, at least I still have all those health packs from the last level, because I'm really going to need them in this part. <laughs> okay. That's one of my guys. Oops. <laughs> I probably could use a long-range weapon here. Because you never know. Mm. I don't know, wait. 
there's still these guys down here I need to take care of. Damn it, again was the guys who take more than one shot to kill. Oh. <laughs> okay, that was a funny glitch. saw that, right? <laughs> Hello, Lost Testic. Nice to have you in the fight, soldier. having such fun right now with this level, since it's another sewer level. Got you all? Good. Set a charge on that ladder. It's set to blow. Okay. Ah, <laughs> here we go. Although I might want to save that. Someone tells me I might need that uh, machine gun for a little later on here. for me? What the hell? <laughs> okay. You sneaky shit. I said it before and I'll say it again. You'd think Nazis would play fair. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and of course the funny thing is, Lost Testic, since this is like an old school COD game, there's not even a horde mode, it's just regular campaign stuff, but boy, some parts of this game they really do throw a lot of enemies at ya. <laughs> there you are. Oh, you. Well, and, well, and I know that 
some of you aren't too well versed in these weapons I'm using. Uh, basically what I'm using here and about to run out of bullets on <laughs> is uh, the German Car 98K. It's basically a carving version and of the old Mauser or er, 1898 rifle. Oh, shit. I did not mean to do that! <laughs> <sighs> Hold on. Controller... Okay. Just have to improvise. Okay, fuck it, I'll just restart the level here. <sighs> oh yeah, this game is from 2004, Lost Tastic. Um, the reason why I actually am playing this, uh, as I said what, during my stream uh, a couple streams ago, this game actually has a special place in my heart. Uh, this is actually not only the first Call of Duty game I've ever played, but this game, no joke. Oh, pfft. don't give me that. And yes, people, pants. <laughs> Come on, nope. Come on, there we go. But anyway, this game is from 2004, like I said. It's the first Call of Duty game I ever played. And no joke, this game is what got me interested in learning about real World War II history. So, and while it is dated gra graphic-wise and some of the hinkiness, the controls, and the combat, I still have a soft spot for it. Oh yeah, and don't worry, this is... <laughs> yeah... Oh yeah, definitely nostalgia. Um... Okay, let's... There we go. But yeah, it's definitely nostalgia. Um... And to be fair to the game, there are parts of it that do hold up. I mean, I mean there are are certain missions in this game that are still really entertaining to watch. Uh, a couple of you who were who have been here from the start of this game can regale Lost Tastic with the tale of Tanya. <laughs> Come on, stop fighting me, controls. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not my favorite Call of Duty game. Honestly, I wouldn't even put it in my top three, even though it has that special place in my heart. But it's a decent game still. Plus, I just relish these older games when they actually gave a shit about trying to have some level of accuracy.
Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm with you there, Lost Tastic. Granted, I hate to say it, but we are in the part of the game. We are in one of the parts of the game I'm not a big fan of. I mean, this game definitely has missions that I really like, but also some missions that I really don't like. But hey, not all games can be perfect. <laughs> In fact, very few are perfect. <laughs> and, that, and that's part of the charm right there, Air, is that, yeah, the graphics are dated, but I like how they have the extra little details and some of the animations that happen with enemies you take out. How they don't have just one way it happens. There you go, here's a few of your potato mashers back. Yeah. And... Well, and, I, well, and some of you may be wondering why I'm calling them potato mashers. That's actually uh, what a lot of Allied soldiers nicknamed German grenades because if you play close enough attention when I throw one... Hello, Cap. Welcome to the party. <laughs> well, as you can see, hey, Cap, we're back in the sewers. <laughs> Different city, though. Stalingrad's a distant memory now. Uh, now we are part of that campaign to capture Aachen. And now we're playing as uh, soldiers of the 1st Air... Not 1st Air, but 1st Infantry Division of the U.S. Army. The big red one. <laughs> there we go. And no joke, it's levels like this in this game that aim where there's a sudden peak, a sudden huge peak in difficulty that levels like this are why usually I just play this game on the easiest difficulty. Yeah, no, yeah, this is technically the easy mode of the game. <laughs> uh. Well, and that's something else I do like about this game is that if those of you who have been here a little longer, if you've noticed, the the weapon spawning is a little different this time than it was when I was first trying this level, and I like little uh, details like that. Yeah, cap, overkill, I know, but hey. <laughs> yep. Here's a Panther Shrek for ya! Set a charge on that last. Set a charge on that last. Uh -huh. 
Oh, wait a second. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. Okay. Come and get it. Now I have a machine gun. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, wait. That's not my movie. Oh, well. Hell with it. <laughs> Set a charge on that ladder. Okay. Doo, doo, doo. Set a charge on that ladder. Yeah, I hear you. Set the charges on the ladder. I know what to do, Benny. <laughs> annoying thing though about this game is it doesn't have that nice little fit little bit of programming that later games like this had to where if you have a machine gun and you go to a ledge it automatically deploys in a bipod because unfortunately I've forgotten right now what the right button is for doing that oh I see ya Come on. Haha. <laughs> mm. Ran out of the Okay. Oh, I see ya. Another annoying thing. Sometimes the hit detection on this game is kind of crappy. Ugh. And here I am with very few rounds left in that machine gun. Shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Try stuff. Three bullets? It took three direct and hits from a b rifle not too far from you? Damn!
Ooh. Well, now you're stuck. Now you guys can probably see why I'm not a big fan of this level. Uh, granted, from what I understand, uh, there aren't many sewer levels in games that are beloved. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Something about putting a level in a sewer and it makes it suck. But yeah, I hope your day has been good today, uh, Cap. In fact, I hope everyone who's here has had a good day. Hey, apparently, uh, Haley, apparently Haley's been having some not so, not so bad, uh, moving stuff. At least, that's the impression I got. Which is good. A smooth move is always a good move. Oh yeah, you saw that correctly. That was just the first part of this level. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, not to mention the whole, oh, it gives you an excuse to make the level really dark and hard to see shit in. We came down here to keep those German rats from popping out the sewers. But I guess they got the better of us there for a while. Okay. Oh. Ooh, you. You fucking fuck. I would... I will try to trademark that just now, but but I'm sure plenty of much more high-profile uh, gamers and all that have you tried to use that as a catchphrase. You fucking fuck. <laughs> In fact, that sounds like something from those old angry video game nerd videos. some B.A.R. Now, I know what's waiting for me up there, so just trust me, guys. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't mean to throw it that way. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Well, 
There we go. Yes, and I know, Cap, I know. Technically, a bold action rifle isn't the most ideal thing to be trying to clear out a sewer with, but I kind of fucked up in the previous mission here, so I'm pretty much stuck with using a rifle. <laughs> doesn't have many rounds in it. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I'd like to think so too, Haley. Uh, granted, I have seen better. Well, yeah, but in case you've forgotten, I kind of got carried away with that machine gun nest, and now I don't have any grenades on me. I guess there's enough MP40s around here to scrounge. There we go. Well, I'm kind of in a bad place health-wise. Shit. Well, and... I do like the little bit of detail there in the uniforms of these soldiers you're fighting because seeing that they're in camo gear because uh, from what I remember in my history, uh, yes, there were actual SS units that were assigned to defend Aachen, which would make sense. I mean, this was the first ger major German city to fall under a direct allied attack. Not just simply a bomb aim run, but an actual full-scale attack. And of course, Hitler being Hitler decreed that the city hold out to the end. Which of course made it not too pleasant for the 1st Infantry Division when they were sent to help capture the city. Oh, there you are. Okay, hold on a second. Right. Hmm, nope. Okay, hold on a second, guys, because that's bullshit. You saw how dark that was. That's bullshit right there. Uh, let's see. There. I mean, it may not look much different for you guys, but hopefully that'll help me out a little better here. Yep. 
Oh yeah, I can better see where I'm going now. We're talking really good graphics from this era of gaming. Honestly, I would say probably the best looking game I've played from this era. I don't know if any of you have played it, but they actually did make a tie-in game to the Peter Jackson remake of King Kong. You know, the one that Jack Black's in. And that game is a true diamond in the rough in that it's not only a rare movie tie-in game that's actually really good but it's also in terms of gameplay but it's also a really good looking game and uh, it really does immerse you in Skull Island and all that and yeah that'll definitely be something to stream at some point but I have more pressing stuff in, on the backlog to focus on. <laughs> oh. Ah, so that's why I was getting shot full of holes. Lovely. <sighs> okay. We are out of the sewer. And I see, and I see that Otter lucked out in that he didn't have to sit through another sewer level, because <laughs> he was dreading it last stream when I had to end with us about to enter the sewers here. <laughs> he literally was like, "No, not another sewer level." <laughs> yeah. Oh, you do lust tastic. That's good. Uh, Cause no joke, that was all. That's one of my all-time favorite games. It truly is. Which is ironic because that was one of those games I got for Christmas as a surprise, and I ended up really, really liking it, and I still like it to this day quite a bit. I like to cite it as an example of how. In the right circumstances, you can have a tie-in game that's actually really good. Granted, this, again, that was, game was an exception, but it was a wonderful exception. Especially in that it had a lot of creative input from Peter Jackson and all the people who were working on his King Kong. Literally, the people from Ubisoft visited the set, visited the set while they were filming that remake visited all of the creature shops and all the digital effects shops. So there was a real collaborative effort with that game to make sure that it looked like it could fit within the framework of the movie and be a really good game at the same time. Plus, I have to... I have to appreciate the little easter egg secret ending they give you if you replay the levels in a sort of arcade mode where you're scored. And if you rack up a high enough score, I love the alternate ending you can play. <laughs> Which, for those of you here who haven't played that game, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, because again, I'm... Because again, uh, I might stream that game in the future. Just probably not anytime soon. Okay. <laughs> you saw that, right? That guy flat out teleported halfway across the room and I shot him. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Guys. I am telling you, I. Oh, I love that game too. Spider Man 2. That's another one of my all time favorite games. Another example of a great tie in game. And honestly, I consider it one of the best open world game games that, that's been made. Certainly, superhero open world games. 
I mean, it's a testament to how long ago that game was and the fact that it's still a lot of fun to play. Hello, Cosmo. Perfect timing, Cosmo. Perfect timing because you are gonna love this. See this little teddy bear here? You're gonna, you're gonna love this with this little teddy bear. Watch. See, <laughs> I grabbed the teddy bear and hug it and it gave me a little bit of health. <laughs> How adorable is that? <laughs> yeah. From what I understand, though, I might have... Unfortunately, I think that's the only time in the game that you get something like that. I'd like to think that maybe it was them showing a little bit of mercy after that sewer level we just went through. <laughs> okay. Switch to automatic weapon. Whoa. Guten Tag, gents. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cap, stop it. <laughs> stop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Looks like first battalion heading north. There's one of our tanks. Hopefully nothing happens to it. Oh hell! It's an airboy! Oh no you don't! Haha! <laughs> Are you like me now? I have one of your own machine guns. Oh no you don't, Panzer Shrekers. Almost makes you forget that just moments before we were hugging a teddy bear for help. <laughs> he fled! Oh no, you don't! <laughs> and our tank saved! <laughs> Here we go. Have a pineapple then. Gonna destroy our tank. Okay. 
Okay, and now we're back to escorting the tanks. After this, room gets cleared out, of course. Okay. Okay, never checkpoint. Uh. Oh, oh, Shh. watch this. <laughs> You'd think they know better than to try to use machine guns against a giant ass fucking cannon. <laughs> shit. Then again, Otter or might have also skipped this because he just was afraid that I might be shooting down some German planes again. <laughs> Even though all of that's done with now in this game. <laughs> Flank some tanks. Huh, that almost rhymed. <laughs> And that is one other thing about this game as opposed to the latter Call of Duty games I do find annoying is that you don't really get any indicator of where the grenades are when they're thrown in your way. And it doesn't give you the option to try to grab one and then throw it back at the enemy. Oh, damn it. Enough of the goddamn grenades! Almost got this level finished. We've almost got this damn level finished. I want to get to something fun. Oh shit! Damn it! Getting it from all sides!
Not kill me. Aha. There we go. Took out your machine gunner. Now, what are you going to do? was a cheap shot. Making me spoil my aim with my grenade. <laughs> well... Oh, damn it. Come on now. <laughs> Sorry. Bit of a technical hiccup just then. <laughs> Okay. Well, Cap, I don't think you would because, yes, I've had experience with these games, but no joke, I've never fired a real gun in my life, so I would have been really useless to you. Um, I mean, sorry, but that's pretty much the truth. I know a bit about historical guns and all that, but I've never fired a real one. Yeah, I probably would be the officer. <laughs> or... I mean, I would try not to be like the stereotypical, oh, out of touch officer, but I definitely would not be be the one who would inspire confidence in soldiers right away. I'd like to think that ideally I would be at, be like Harry Truman in World War I, where, yeah, I may not look that impressive, but if push came to shove, uh, I would be able to prove myself. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how many of you are familiar with that, that Harry Truman, that President Truman, did serve in World War I as an artillery officer. And that's actually a story that could be a movie in itself. He was literally given command of an artillery unit of men who were known to be really insubordinate and not particularly effective soldiers. And of course they thought, they looked at him, this little dweeby guy with thick, thick rimmed glasses, and they assumed, oh, oh, this guy's going to be dead within a week. They can, we'll get another officer. But during one action, uh, they got, they were surprisingly shelled by German artillery and were, were then subject to an attack by German soldiers. And to the amazement of everyone in this unit, their commander, Harry Truman, stood his ground and basically was like, no men, we will stand and fight. And through his leadership, they managed to beat off this German attack in a scenario where lesser men would have been probably wiped out. And they found themselves having a much more healthy respect for this seemingly dweeby little guy with glasses who was their commander. But, but yeah, uh, there I am talking about World War One again. This is World War Two, damn it! <laughs> and I'm almost... And I'm almost done with this mission, and almost at a mission I do like to play. 
You distracted me, guys. <laughs> oh, damn it. Ooh. Of course, they would put a another machine gun right there. Of course, that's to be expected. The Germans were very much all about. And of course, I'm out of grenades now, so I can't throw one at that thing. Ugh. Crafty AI trying to get to that machine gun. <laughs> of course, that is another thing to appreciate about this game is they do have, in certain levels, very crafty AI to where if you take out one person manning the machine gun, that's not enough. You also have to keep in mind that the AI is also programmed to, oh, the guy manning the machine gun's down. Quickly, someone run to it and replace him. By the way, guys, you've seen how badly torn up I got here. Here's part of the here's part of the fun of the harder modes in this game. If I were to play this on the regular mode, I would not be able to carry a maximum of six health packs. I would only be able to carry four. And if I were really feeling a masochistic and decided to play the hard mode of this game, guess how many health packs I'd be allowed to carry. Go ahead, take a guess. Screw you. Oh, there's some grenades when I could have used them a little bit earlier. But yeah, if I were to play this game on its hardest difficulty, no joke, I would only be allowed to carry two health packs. Two. And you see how badly shot up I can get in this game. So yeah, I am not going to be playing this on hard difficulty. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Ooh, you. Okay. Throw some blood at ya. No, you don't. Haha. <laughs> well, I mean, yes. I mean, yes, you would. I mean, yeah, you are a captain. You probably would be the one un in charge in the front line. I think I probably would be like a major or something. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I would appreciate that. <laughs> yep. But, hold on. Hmm. Got some enemy tanks here. Trying to shoot up our tanks. I've got a Panzer Shrek. Let's have some fireworks, shall we? Haha! <laughs> And here comes the big gun. Uh, this shouldn't take long. Now I do find it annoying that there's that glitch where you still see the crosshair overlay here. But oh well. Oh, here we go. That's it! They're surrendering! Akin is out! First German city to fall. We got him on the run now, Sarge. <laughs> home for Christmas. Yeah, I believe that. When I see it. We have officially broken into U the Reich. Surely this war won't last much longer. <laughs> I Me, mean, it's not like the Germans will launch some surprise in the winter or something, right? Oh, story time, guys. Shh. Story time. My name is Sam Rivers. The day after the attack on Pearl Harbor, me and my best friend Jim rushed to enlist in the U.S. Army. Most of our buddies from the neighborhood in Chicago did the same. I was only 18. I barely had enough time to say my goodbyes, get packed, and marry my sweetheart Maggie three hours before we shipped out for basic training. I was assigned to the 761st Tank Battalion, which was almost entirely made up of colored folk, except for the officers. We were not particularly welcome at Camp Hood, but this just and drove yeah, us to this was a real unit. team and earn the respect of everyone we met. General Patton himself saw us in action and insisted we be attached to his third army and sent to Europe. Today we're near the town of Tillet. Every other American unit assigned to Tillet. This town has tried and failed. Now it's our turn. We're all fighting for something more than just defeating the enemy. Every man in the 761st has something to prove to himself and to the folks back home. For us, victory has a double meaning. Indeed. Double victory. Ah oh, yes, here we go. Listen up everybody. Job today is to capture Tillet and cut the highway the Germans are using to supply the assault on Bastogne. Main force will split up and take different routes to encircle the town. You all know your teams. We're supporting the 87th today, so watch out for infantry under your tracks. My squad will escort the M12s to their firing positions, then roll into town after the artillery softens them up. Main assault will begin when my group hits the east entrance to town. Let's move out, and when you see the Germans... <laughs> all right, all right. Mount up and give them hell. Yeah. What can I say? I am partial to the tank levels and the Call of Duty games I do really like. <laughs> It's just something about being in something where regular bullets can't hurt me. <laughs> but yeah, um, Cap probably knows what the hell they were talking about there, but in case some of you, you were confused, well, now we flashed forward to during the Battle of the Bulge, but this is actually after the Germans' main attack has stalled and basically been defeated. At this point, the battle's already turned against the German army, and now we're basically trying to push them back to where they started. And they mentioned Til Tillet or Tillet, depending on how you pronounce it. And yeah, that was 
I was under German control still at this point in the battle, and it was being used as a way to try to resupply German forces in the region. And the 761st was sent in real life to capture this town, and even though the Germans had been beaten in their attempt to break through the Allied line in the Battle of the Bulge, that doesn't mean that they were down and out, because they still had a very deadly edge to them when it came to defense. And this town was a town that stubbornly refused to be taken easily. So the 761st is sent in to see if they can do it. Oh, no, no. Hold on, guys. There. Whew. That was a close one. <laughs> Just realized I forgot to plug in the damn computer <laughs> before I started streaming. That could have been tragic. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, we're in the 761st. First, and let's go see if we can convince the Germans that they need to leave the area. Shall we? Ooh. Looks like we got company, boys. Damn it. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Kind of surprised you guys have this, these many panthers left. appreciate that, Haley. I mean, there are other streamers I've followed in the past who have had that sort of oversight. Oh, no you don't. You are not gonna blow me up. <laughs> well, and here... Um, um, here is one instance where you can definitely tell they cut corners a little with this game and that if you've no if you're noticing <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed all of these tanks are the same type of tank that are attacking us and that obviously is a corner being cut because in one of the last missions of the game, you do come across a different type of tank. I'm not going to say what kind, but a different kind. Oh! Ooh, how dare you try to sneak on us. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, they decided to have them all be Panzer IVs, which... <laughs> yeah, which of which I mean, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the, of the doubt and assume that well, maybe it's just a case of of it made it easier for them to program the level if they just had one type of tanks so that that way they could just show a bunch of tanks but it is still a little glaring to someone like me who does know the history because 
this right here, yes, there were Panzer IVs involved in this battle, but there were also much bigger tanks, Panthers, Tiger Ones, even King Tigers. And like I said, it is a little bit of creative license here that we're coming across so many tanks here. Because by this point in the battle, a lot of the tanks the Germans had deployed had already been either knocked out of action or quite simply, or just as common, abandoned because they ran out of fuel. Because, well, by this point in the war, the Germans really had no fuel reserves left. They pretty much wasted all of them on the Battle of the Bulge. Yeah, probably, or, for, well, and probably flat tires that they in desperation stuffed with straw and shit. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it past them, I mean, it was very shoestring how they were trying to keep going by this point. Oh, damn it, Flack, literally. Okay. Haha. <laughs> See how you like that. Oh, black gun. Um, well, there are actually a couple they use cap. Um, I forget the pronunciation, but it, I believe the abbreviations for them were. SDKZ, and there was the SDKZ 250, and then the one you're probably thinking of, which was the more numerous one, the SDKZ 251. That was their main half track. Uh, yeah. Well, and you're probably aware of this cap, but by this point, points they had run out of, they were running out of so many tanks that in desperation they would even put anti big anti tank guns in those half tracks even though those half tracks really didn't have anything approaching in decent armor against anything more than a machine gun and yeah whoever was assigned to be on one of those half tracks with an anti tank gun it's like Okay, you may have gotten a few lucky shots, but once they got a beat on you, it pretty much would be a feat of same. Yeah, he did believe in real occult stuff, but I saw what you did there with the references. <laughs> Actually, Cap, since you mentioned it. Oh, damn it. the cup of a carpenter. <laughs> what can I say? This was always my favorite film in that series. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the description for this highly suggested that you don't try to actually drink from it because it is like painted it on resin and all that. <laughs> it's 
So, unfortunately, it's mostly just a prop. <laughs> well, exactly, Cap. I mean, technically, this isn't the real one from the movie. This is a replica, so... Yeah, if I tried drinking from it, it would very much be... He chose... Poorly. <laughs> Well, now you're getting me on an Indiana Jones kick here, Cap. <laughs> Let's see if I have it over here. There we go. Well, and don't think I don't ha have a lot of love for Raiders, too. <laughs> Yep. Yep, in terms of that series, these are the ones I like to stick to. Basically, any one where Indiana Jones is punching Nazis, I'm happy. <laughs> okay, back to the back to the war. <laughs> Well, and I did notice something rather annoying when I did, when I was making highlights of those older uh, streams of mine back when it was just off from the Xbox when I was playing the Lego Indiana Jones. It's rather annoying that those old games don't give you the option to tur turn down the music. It's just one setting for sound. As well, it plays a lot of copyrighted music in that game. Uh, granted, I haven't been, I haven't gotten one of those strikes for it. Thank God. <laughs> okay. And yeah, it is a little bit of creative license how many tanks were coming across in this level because, well, realistically there wouldn't have been that as many tanks around Tillit at the time. There, probably, there were a few, but there wouldn't have been this many. See, this makes it seem like we're coming across an entire Panzer Division. Which... Well, I should correct myself. A Panzer Division that actually has strength left in it. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. Damn it. I must say, uh, the Sherman I'm in, unusually strong against these German tanks and anti-tank guns. As well, anyone who knows anything about World War II tanks knows that the Sherman was known to be rather easily taken out. Oh no you don't. There you go. Ooh, you who is shooting at me. Oh, there you are.
Okay. Well, gonna have to rely on the good old grease gun here. Come on, guys. I'm not doing this all by myself. And yeah, no joke, this machine gun, submachine gun I'm using was nicknamed the Grease Gun because, well, it happened to look like a Grease, a grease Gun you would use in terms of an assembly line. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, it was actually designed to be a replacement for the Thompson machine gun because, well, the Thompson, it was a little outdated by the time of World War II. It was a very clunky weapon to wield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, I don't know. Oh, how? Well, I don't quite know how to respond to that, Lostastic, because I really haven't played nearly as many like competitive match games as you guys probably have. I I don't know if you I'm wondering if you mean they're not as overpowered in older games as they tend to be in more recent games. Is that what you were getting at? Because that is something I do notice about more modern shooter games is that they tend to make submachine guns pretty uh, easy to dominate on a PvP match sort of thing. You have to admit, guys, that was pretty perfect earlier, that Cosmo uh, decided to uh, pop up right when the teddy bear happened. <laughs> it's almost like she could sense some cuteness in the force. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, definitely, Lostastic. Yeah, that's definitely one thing I really miss in shooter games, is the whole, let's actually try to have some um, authenticity here to how these weapons function and not have it to where people just pretty much act like Rambo with them. <laughs> What's this guy's name? Parker! Parker! I said Peter Parker! That's kind of confusing that we have a private Parker here. You would think it would be more a private Rogers given this time period.
Yeah. Yeah, I may not be the... I may be beyond done with the movies and all that, but the actual well, Marvel comics I've never really had a problem with. Of course, I say that as someone who's really not read hardly any comics, so what do I know? <laughs> Be the same. Okay. Let's get back in the tank. Wait, hold on. That's it for this roadblock. Now let's get through town and block the road on the other side. Ah! There we go. <laughs> I forgot, there is actually a third person mode I can activate here. Here I am in my lovely Sherman. Only problem is I can't really aim very well in this mode. Oh, nope, don't not, don't wanna have that. Okay. Well, night then, Lost Tastic. Glad you could stay a while. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call it quits once I finish this mission. Cause, well, it took a little longer er, er, getting through that sewer and afterwards than I thought it would be. But yeah, after this one, I'll probably have to call it a day. Which means we'll have to do one, one more stream <laughs> set in this game, but hey, you guys seem to like it, so whatever. <laughs> but yeah, good night, Lost Tastic. Get some R&R, &R, soldier. You've earned it. Get out of here with that rocket shit. Oh, there you are, huh? Oh, no, you don't. Guys, we shouldn't be bunching up like this. Or is that more of a target? Yes, you go down the road that way, I'll go down this road. There we go. Haha! <laughs> Those bastards out. 
Yep. Yeah. Okay. Time to do another sweep. Okay, some help you guys have some help you guys have been. I was gonna run out of health there because, in case you haven't noticed, there are no checkpoints right here. Okay. <laughs> there we go. It would appear they were trying to launch a counterattack. But I turned their own weapons against them. <laughs> and again. Definitely some poetic license here that we see so many tanks in this level. Because anyone who knows knows much about the Battle of the Bulge would know by this point. There would probably not be this many tanks in this area. Or at least functioning tanks. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. Now... Ooh, how dare you. <laughs> Come on. Ooh. Come on. How many tanks could you possibly have left? Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Here, let's take care of this last one. Okay. Nice shooting, Sam. Those Germans never knew what hit them. Okay. Now to clear out the rest of this town. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Not so tough now without your tanks, are you, buddy? No, you don't. <laughs> oh, shit, black gun. <laughs> I think you aimed a little high there. <laughs> well, and I'm sure if Otter were here, he'd recognize what this is. Reddit Flak 88, which appears to be glitching right now. <laughs> okay. Now, one more part, and this level will be done. Oh, only four tanks this time? It appears you guys are running out of tanks. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Come on. Oh, come on now. Ha <laughs> Damn it, they took out one of ours. Okay. What, even more armor? What the hell? What, is there an entire Panzer army here? <laughs> or what's left of one? Yeah. I mean, I do like this level, but I will say... It is pretty ridiculous how many tanks you come across here. Because again, keep in mind, this is January 1945. You were probably not likely to come across this many tanks in one place. <laughs> At least not this many German tanks. Okay. Up with the damn Panzer tracks. It's almost like they're stubbornly not admitting that they lost. <laughs> Where did you all come from? There. Oh, I see ya. 
Hey, where are you going, tank? What, did you think I didn't see you there? Come on, where'd you go? Hmm. Hmm. Where did that tank go? Hold on a second. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Victory! Oh, I love this part. Hell of a job, everybody. No way the Nazis are gonna get to fight against Bastogne now. Charlie Company, come in. Charlie Company, please respond. This is Sergeant Rivers, Charlie Company, over. Rivers, this is headquarters. Command is reviewing enemy strength report and orders are to break off assault on Tillett. Do not go into that town, Sergeant. It's too hot in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm already through that town. <laughs> Gotta love that shit, huh? <laughs> Okay, let's cut out of here because I'm going to have to save that part for next time because... It's been four grueling months since we took our first German city, okay. Doc. That mission right, and the weeks quiet. that followed have been particularly quiet difficult. A bitter, cold fight trying to hold off the Germans but and stay yeah, alive. I'll have Some to save that part for war, next time. I actually thought I might not make it back home. <laughs> My men came out decorated for the sacrifice. There we go. And enough of that blue light. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know, Cap. Maybe maybe it's because maybe it's because us he's pretty awesome. <laughs> But yeah, um, so yeah, like I said, I would. <laughs> Aragon, son of Araphon, indeed. But yeah, um, I would continue the game, except that part that was about to start, those are the last two missions of the game, and they are really really hard or no wait three missions but still last three missions of the game we're about to start there and they are ridiculously hard <laughs> that'll probably have to be an entire stream on its own playing those levels Oops, but hey that'll be something to do next time I'm on Sunday night, I believe. 